Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet, You Scary. Woohoo. Very special ah. guest in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, she is a podcast hoster. She is, uh, I mean, one of the dopest live shows of the said podcast. Come on. Hey. Uh, she has a husband, a very cool <laughs> husband named Ben, that initially I thought she was bullying this man. Oh, <laughs> you the way she and, was, the, and, and the rest everyone, of the internet. And the yes. rest of the internet, very beautiful daughter as well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, Miss Amber Waller. <laughs> I am a bully, aren't I? I mean, you know what? <laughs> You're just a strong black woman. Right. You know what? And people will say, I remember at one point, maybe like last year, they were like, calling somebody a strong black woman or independent black woman is disrespectful. I was like, well, what? I was raised by all strong independent Literally. black women. What's, what's and didn't they bully you as a child? Oh, yeah, all the time. It's generational. I got way more wedgies from my cousins and my mama, women, than I did from my, my male cousins. Way Damn. more. Yeah. My mom used to square up. My sister was nice. What? Oh, you had a kind sister? Oh, older she and younger. Didn't, she didn't bully yeah, me. So sick of didn't bully me. Oh, she had to take care of you. Didn't bully me at all. We uh, play video games. Uh, oh. I'm the baby. A perfect oh, everybody childhood. likes I have light eyes. We Ooh. love that. Oh. <laughs> I'm artistic. Oh, I play piano. Yeah, all that stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. How's it feel to be what God's you? favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Agree. <laughs> This ain't about me. This is about you. What you be? What you be? What you be doing to that? What you be doing to this poor man, huh? Love him. Put, put him up in a home. That ain't Mo the bully part. Move him across the country. Tell us with about me. the bully part. It, it, it's true. Love him. I love him. Put him, him. up in a home. People don't understand uh -huh. how how good I am to him behind the scenes. Right. 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 Behind, behind the, the scenes, scenes is funny. And people don't understand how much he cooks me too. Okay. Ooh. Okay. But he does. No. I, he I, he does. I, he I, does, I saw, you you I bear with videos to it. where you like how does this look I'm like seriously and like I, I was like ooh I would never do that never do that to any woman let alone a black woman see yeah. but he's white so people are like oh it's cute when he's mean to you yeah it is oh. like, when it's the other way around it's like well, damn, you know, that's, it comes it comes, it comes off docile he comes off very chill yes. very docile but Ben he's he's a sniper too I seen him get down. Oh, I seen him on the show. All we did the way that down. episode together. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. He's a meanie too. Oh, yeah, okay. he has a dinner. He be saying yeah. N word. No, never that. <laughs> never that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just asking, you know, baby. <laughs> never that. So, so, it, it hasn't happened in in my prison. <laughs> I, what about I, when he be rapping? I do believe him? every. I do believe every <laughs> white male child has probably said the N word. At least during childhood. the songs, you know. In their childhood. On oh, a childhood. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But to my knowledge, maybe yeah. he says it in his head to me. But, <laughs> you never heard once. Yes. The brain has Since not the marriage. filtered it down <laughs> to the mouth. Stop trying to start shit, Pat. <laughs> Pat, can you post something I don't know? No, no, no. I don't even, I've never it? met him. Okay, okay, good. So I, I, was just, I was just like, you know, maybe. He might have said it. If y'all have a video, it. send it my way, please. <laughs> well, it ain't gonna be on video. I need a good fight tonight. Right. I need a good, I need fight, a good fight. fight. Okay, so there's the fights? bullying. I, I don't. I try to avoid the fights at all. I've got really good Fair about questioning. Fights. No, she just she just walks around. It's like I don't. She's a different purpose. She sleeps with her fist balled up, so I knew something was <laughs> oh, different. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So she stays ready. <laughs> she stays ready. Like you have to know <laughs> if you've been with a woman that long, you have to know she always has a fight ready. Yeah, I feel like even when it's a good day. Yeah, it's some stuff right on, on, on the table. She can just grab real quick. Right. You know. Right. But I got I got some good counters. You got some good counters. <laughs> okay, so the same you're the same way you 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 took him from a small city and brought him out here. <laughs> I, right. just, I had to do some the power locks. Hello, <laughs> power windows. That's Hello, upgrade. First, I first. You know what's funny? Come we, on, we ABT, were just, like we were just in uh, St. Louis for her mom's wedding, and I did a comedy show there. And we went to our first date spot. We Aww. our first date was at That's pretty cute. this Starbucks right here. We had the kid take pictures, and she had a vanilla bean latte frap. That was her first time ever having Starbucks or vanilla bean frap. And I had like a high coffee. That's so. her first time having Starbucks. Yeah, when we were in college, two thousand five. Oh, in college. Okay. Yeah, that was. Our first. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought that trip was her yeah. first time having Starbucks. So she comes with something. Me and I'm like, who introduced you to Starbucks? Who introduced you to vanilla bean? Who took you on you your didn't first know flight? Who that? took you out of the country? Huh? That's a crazy wow. counter. Who believed in you and told you that you could be yeah. a, an influencer? Hmm? Damn. Who moved you into that, that condo? Cool. Who got you your first electric car? 
Oh, those oh. last few were really oh, good. Yeah. It's you on your I can show you the world shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aladdin. Hey, listen, wow. yes. listen. Any, you salad, you, that any salad you eat, you still gonna have more carrots on your finger. Who did that? Who did that? Ooh, oh, that's oh. cold. That was, that's a that was, okay. yeah, was low-key kind of that was kinda cool. Yeah, the gears in my head were turning <laughs> I was like, like, okay, the carrot, carrot salad. salad. <laughs> the carrot. She had, she had never had a salad. Carrot salad. Before he, oh, I, oh, got you introduced that? That's okay. Who gave you niggas carrot salad? You know. But you didn't know shit about cucumbers before. Hey, I okay. listen, listen. That's you was out counter. here with the mixed green joint. I threw some carrots on your finger and changed your life. Damn, that's a pretty good counter. Hey, you know what? That still pales in comparison to to I carried your baby. I always got that over. Damn. Well, how about I, this? I carried your baby. We met two weeks after we met. You told me you were two months pregnant. I didn't run. I stayed. Damn. Took that is baby. a perfect Where is my counter. Own? Yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah, got nothing yeah, for that. I got nothing for that. Nothing for that. I got baby. nothing for that. Come on, baby. You a good man, <laughs> Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got my downfalls. I sold a little crack to some kids before. Crack. You know? <laughs> you get them when they're young. Now they lifetime customers. Uh, oh, hell of a... smart. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm all for a business strategy. It's, it's marketing. Kids. It's all about the marketing. <laughs> you stand right across the street from the school. They get you. They got little. They got their little allowance on Friday. Hey, come here. Let me. See. You ever tried this bubble gum before? Makes wow. you run faster. <laughs> Makes you Fuck run those Jordans. Let me tell you how you really score. Hey, Let's man. Take, well, we St. were talking about crazy. before the show how I might not have money for a trip I have coming up. Mm-hmm. So. I might hit you up for that bubblegum hustle recipe outside hey, listen, of school. It's a little harder I now. got to go eat good in Italy. Yeah, I do. Competition is stiff now. They drop <laughs> it off oh, to yeah. you. So I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not the one to drop it off. You just got to catch me on the streets. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Back to the street. Are you in love? No, I'm not. You, you, you are. Like, oh, you in love? No, I shut that down real quick. Yeah. Your, your smile was like, <laughs> have, you been, oh. have you ever been in love? I don't know. Sometimes I'll be like, am I? And then, I'm, you know. <laughs> No, you're not. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, damn. little just, devil. It's like just the devil. It's no angel side. No, it doesn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, when's this guy going to show up? Like, yeah, don't worry about it. I love the idea oh, of you walking around me. like this all day. <laughs> I'm just like, like oh, what happened yeah, to that other sure. side? <laughs> wow. That's all right. You know, being in love is expensive, so I get it. It is. Being in love is expensive. It's a, uh, it's, um, it's a liability, you know? Mm, yeah. Because then it's just like, you know, all those people who do crazy stuff, and then they're like, I was in love. I'm like, sheesh. <laughs> like, oh, but people have been in love with you. That's what it's, it is. Yeah. How many people have been in love with you? Well, Who's how much still time currently you in love with you? Who, how much time Who's you currently? Got? Yes. <laughs> um, Carucci, huh? <laughs> A pat. Don't do people. That's not true. It that's, is people. That's a wow. Lot. It's at least five, Pat. Only like five. No, probably like two or three. That Probably I had that. like two or three. But it's not like someone I was involved with that's like blue faced me on the on my, like has a tattoo of me on their face like Krishan Rock. It's never been like that. Yeah. It'll be like. But it's gonna get there if two or three already have a regular tattoo. The last one I saw, she had this on her arm, but it said "fuck me, Pat." And I was like, damn, that's, that's crazy. That wasn't true. That's, on the arm, that's a joke. That's, that's crazy. A joke. I just feel like somebody <laughs> has a back piece of you. Like your that's whole face. wild. I've never seen that. I've only seen my face once, and the other is like. Words that I've said, or like a company I started, like Protect Your Light. That has nothing to do with me. That's no, it just, does. It does. Cloud. Yeah, the cloud too. Wow. All right, so four. No, it's five, bro. You're Fuck like me, a Pat cult leader. That's not one of them. I'm telling you this. I That's not a it. joke. No, I saw it in Atlanta. Ooh. For real? Mm-hmm. Five. Just five. <laughs> Only five. Hey, that's goals right there. <laughs> Atlanta Fuck is me, a wild Pat. place, though. Huh? Is somebody's, like, on somebody's wrist somewhere? Yeah, but it was not anybody I had. Let's, wait, wait, wait. Let's get back to you. I just am <laughs> fascinated. I just feel I'm like somebody guest has, here. like, Fuck Me Pat, like, right on the tramp stamp area. That'd be cool. So somebody's being so bent over, ask. and you see Fuck Me Pat, and you're like, damn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that has All to, right. That's where you this convinced. is going. You're twisting this my way. arm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What a, attempt, good, yeah, what a good prank, cool. right? <laughs> you had some what? I had some tattoo pins, and me and somebody played. I was like, take them and write on them. Oh, that's cool. For, oh, re- for real tattoos? Okay, that's oh, such temporary. a good prank. Mm. Like, oh, if pins. I just got a okay. temporary tattoo of fuck me, Pat, down here, and just, like, waited <laughs> to have For the record, Ben, that would end I the have nothing to do with this, Ben. <laughs> uh, not a thing in the world, brother. I respect you, okay? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm talking about her husband. She I think she we different. should all go oh, in should, on, oh. a, on a, yeah, sorry, a ben. pat. <laughs> a pat, yeah, sorry, ben. A pat tat pack. I think we should all do that. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, that's whose relationship will end yeah. first? I can't drop if we Patrick all tattoos? Get... Yes. 
Who's gonna, who's gonna break first and tell people it's fake? Yes. Oh like, man, who's... that means you got to get it somewhere very visible. You can't just do the lower back unless you're gonna have your shirt up. Or sweat right. is like a neck tat. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. That's yeah. the, that's While cool. While we're talking about tattoos, um, does Amber know about yours? Hey. We're talking about back tattoos. All right, well, let's go jump into this. Uh, <laughs> let's jump into this <laughs> intro song. You ever seen uh, oh, intro song? Yes, yes. We're gonna do this intro. You ever song. seen any spaghetti westerns? <laughs> I, oh shit! I have not. See, he just started I, I, the beat. I have not. I ain't seen no spaghetti western. Oh, All I've seen there. is the best western. Oh. I ain't got no money for a real Airbnb, <laughs> but I'm still gonna be in Italy. Hey. Pat, take it over for me, please. Hey, hey, hey! If you don't like this show, you are not fun. We got Amber here with her top bun. You know she got that cheddar, but which top bun is better? Hey, come through. We about to tell some stories. We about to see how she went to Napa, and Napa had no glory. Then we go to Italy for some spaghetti on my knees. You might have to get on your knees to pay for Italy, bitch, please. Came through with some cheese, a pizza topping. He, he. That's my laugh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, that's my laugh. I love that. The least thing was not about you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was, uh, been. I've never been to Italy, so. <laughs> it, it I don't know what it takes to that get That should count for something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Oh, good times, All guys. right, Napa. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about your Napa trip. I, okay. hear, I hear it wasn't uh, ideal. You know what? No. It wasn't. So let me let me preface. I'm from Georgia, right? Okay. So growing up, the only thing I've ever heard about Napa is like what we saw in the Parent Trap. Wine with like yes, like okay. with Lindsay Lohan's dad on the mm-hmm. ranch. He had a vineyard in Napa. Damn, y- you look like you're familiar with this. Yes, Dennis Quaid. <laughs> Oh, Dennis, Dennis Quaid and the grapes. It was great. So wait, all wait, of wait. my friends are from Georgia. So we never Georgia. knew like there's a right season to go to Napa. Mm. Apparently there's a season to go to Napa. Mm. We missed that. Okay. Yeah. So it was just a weekend. Mm. So I go to the airport. Thursday, flight canceled. Mm. I go back on Friday. Really? Flight delayed two hours. Mm. What's going on in Napa? I don't know. The, it's, I think it's raining. I think it's just disgusting. Huh. So... I want I want to preface by saying I'm I'm flying from like Burbank to San Francisco, mm-hmm. so this is a one hour flight. Yeah, it's easy. So first day flight canceled, mm-hmm. second day flight delayed two hours. Damn. I finally get to San Francisco and Napa is still a one hour and thirty minute right. Uber mm-hmm. to Napa, right. which would have been fine when I was going with all the other bitches. Yeah, well, yeah. But if I had to do it one way by myself, mm. so that was like a two hundred dollar rainy Uber, Oof. and it's raining. Yeah. So even when you get there, you can't really tour the vineyard because it's all. pouring rain outside. Would so it be it was cheaper a to rent a car? Trip, Pat. <laughs> I was just I was thinking two hundred dollars each way. This is so disrespectful. Wait, I, I am a guest on your show. That was a that was, I was a solution to a girls trip, and nobody was trying to drive. No. Oh. You, what do you know? Girls drunk. trips. Nobody wants to drive six and a half hours when they were supposed to be on a one hour flight. No, he's talking about driving from, from the airport. From San no. Fran. That's yeah. disgusting. Oh. Women don't like to drive. You think about every time you're a woman on a date. You, you, Passenger princess. They want to drink. They got little bottles in their purse. They trying to drink on the ride. They don't know. None of them want to drive. I be, I be passenger princess sometimes. Right. Pat, nobody so is know. surprised by this. I be, I nobody. Know. One time Pat was a passenger princess while we were shooting. We were filming Squadcast, and he's in the car the whole time. And I was like, laughing at me. Yeah, he's having a good time. He's he's <laughs> he's engaged in the show, and I was like, Are you really a passenger princess? You are a passenger princess. <laughs> I mean, you know, what, you know, sometimes. <laughs> Girls be having like nice cars and stuff, you know? And I'm like, ooh. And I'll be like, <laughs> yeah. I'll be like Damn, filming myself really trying, to get the, trying to get the emblem in the back. <laughs> they are in love, like, yes, not the RR. Just, just put With it up. The stars chilling. <laughs> Let, wait, let's recap for a second. So they got tattoos of you. Oh, yep. no, okay, this last one was half a joke. They're you riding can't, you, you can't, around. You can't add this to a list. Don't, don't compile a list. I'm being Damn, silly. I think it's a random like, list. I think it's a random list. Being, oh, my God. Okay, so we have to read. So then, even when we get to Napa, it's raining whatever it didn't rain on thursday which was the one day all of the girls went to the vineyard tell me why they're they're all drinking having fun on the vineyard have you ever have you ever gotten like insider tips from like a a worker there that didn't help the the play the workplace like you ever been to a restaurant and the waiter's like just so you know like all the food here sucks but go oh. ahead, give me your order you're like 
Oh, I don't want to give you my food? order now. Yes. Like, no. just so you know, everything's frozen in the back. But, like, go ahead, lady. Damn. It was that kind of <laughs> go thing. Go on, Ma. They put in there two weeks that day. <laughs> and, right. And it was worse because my girlfriend's who got to go to the vineyard on that Thursday, mm. they got that from a, a person who was working on the vineyard. So the girls are like, they're, they're on this like $200 wine tour and they're clinking glasses and asking the girl like, what, what valley is, is this from? You know, mm -hmm. we don't care about what valley is. <laughs> and the girl goes, you know, like, the girl goes like, just so you know, like none of the wine that y'all are actually being given was made here. Like it's just all been imported. Like, like most of the grapes out here are for like local farmers and stuff. She was Ooh. like, but shh, enjoy. And they were all like, and that's because of the season you were in, or be that's just period I how feel like it was. She was then. just spilling some tea. Like I mm. think she was spilling some real. Like this is a big tourism spot, but most of the wine that you drink here was not made here. Mm. I feel like that kind of ruins. I get that honesty part, but that also <laughs> ruins the illusion because like. Y'all, y'all didn't really care about that. No. It was just like, yeah, we're in Napa. Oh, is this an yes. eighty-four bottle? Like, that's what they told me. They were like, she hits us with, you know, you think like a, a waitress is about to spill some teas, like just so you know. Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay, let me lean in, bitch. And, and it's like, it's, 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 it's a rat back there. You're like, ah, why are crazy. you telling us? Ah, that's crazy. So yeah, so I most of the weekend was commuting. Ah, what do you mean commuting? Commuting, like, there. like cancel flight. Flying there, oh, that driving to the actual like, vacation. Yeah, because time. I didn't really get to have fun until about Friday night. Because mm. I didn't get there until so Thursday, cancel, delayed on Friday, right. get there Friday night, okay. and then they're telling me like, "Girl, this whole place is a sham." Like, and what what month was it? This was two weeks ago. Oh shit! So were the vineyards? Did they have like leaves and grapes on them, or was it all bare? I didn't even go out there because it was, it was like, raining. pouring down rain. Oh, so all the tours <laughs> you did was indoors. I didn't do any wine tours. Damn. Oh, well, that's why it was a bad trip. Horrible. So, so, so you've done Napa when it wasn't raining. Yeah, I went in spring. How was that? So mm -hmm. in spring is a Have really you done good. Napa too? No, no, it's a really good yet. time because uh, well, actually, I hear it's better in like August because that's when the you can actually like drink the because I guess the grapes have like a harvesting part mm. of the year. So that could have been part of the tour, but. The places I went had, you know, just like famous bottles of wine. Um, there's a castle there. It's like a, a mm. dude who was like obsessed with European architecture, and he actually built um, a super, super realistic castle, and you can do like tours. That was my favorite part. And then there's also a wine train that you could take through Napa uh, and, like, yeah. and drink and have like stops. So that was like, even if they told me like, yeah, this is all fake. I would mm. it would have still been cool because it would have been cool. Visual, yeah. yeah. Pat, Maybe you I was have just over it. I, the I agenda of a sixty-year-old woman named Blanche. <laughs> oh, I was for sure the youngest Gamera. person there. Oh, you <laughs> had on some Etonics right. walking <laughs> shoes <laughs> and yes. a walkman on the side, and just wristbands, just having a grand old time. I compression socks. I get why older. <laughs> <laughs> you know you got some compression socks. I don't. Right? <laughs> yes, you do. Isn't that for um flight high, high blood I, pressure? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can use it for that, but it's also yeah. good for flight suit. Yeah, it's for blood circulation. Blood I use them on uh, when I'm flying a lot. When I'm touring, I when use them. When you're flying, what? Flying a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. That's Just because you you're high laugh. up? Mm -hmm. That's why you laugh, because you got some. Well, yeah, I do. I got like six pairs. <laughs> What's it? What about a flight is good for that? Just because um, you're not walking keep, around? It, yeah, well, yes, because you you don't have the blood, the same blood flow in your legs. So um, that's how blood clots can happen when you don't have actual good blood flow. Um, and it's actually how a couple people died. Heavy D actually died from a blood clot. In his feet? Uh, yeah, it was. I don't know where it started at, but like it didn't what? happen on the flight. It happened right after the flight. But You're telling me we would still have Heavy D here if there were compression socks? I mean, they were there, but the people just don't know what to wear that often. Like, you typically just, uh... most people don't know to wear it. Like, you know if you do your reading, find out like it's good for long flights or frequent flights and stuff like that. So that's why I got Wow. Into. So, yeah. Where was he flying? How long was that flight? Do you know? I don't. I didn't. I didn't look at the agenda. That's a new fear. Plan. Itinerary. Yes. Itinerary. I didn't. I didn't. I, I don't even walk around when I'm on a plane. I just. I just take the time to the face. <laughs> 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 you don't even use the bathroom on a flight. No, like five, six hour flight. I'm just in there, just wow. stewing. Oh gosh, I'm you're like all... a window seat guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah I'm I don't want to. I don't want like, to. You like the aisle? I like the aisle no. for my bladder. I I need okay. to be up. That little cart be hitting me, and they don't yeah, care. Exactly. Oh, yeah. They don't care. They're just like. Oh, that's <laughs> first. They you want some care. water? <laughs> oh. I feel like it's bigger. <laughs> And general than it is in first class. Like first class, they got a small cart, never hits you. And in general, they got a huge cart that's too big for the why? Why Different you got carts? this fucking buggy here? <laughs> this Ross buggy down the goddamn aisle. Break out the coach cart. 
You know, oh, to, to hear, God. I wouldn't know. Uh, I'm I'm an I'm an economy girl myself. Hey, listen, I'm trying to get like you because cause... no, 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 no. I'm I'm just on the window in economy. Well, gotcha. I mean, I'm in comfort, but you know, I'm still on the window, so I just gotcha. I avoid the aisle at all costs. Yeah. So Heavy D died from a blood clot in his lungs, oh, um, lungs. and they did oh, say lungs. it was most likely um, caused by remaining seated on a long flight across the Atlantic Ocean. Mm. What that got to do with his lungs? Wow. Though? I mean, the blood the blood, blood can go anywhere. Yeah, it's blood. You, you know, it travels anywhere. It For, travels. And he so, was going from Atlanta where? It's no, no, no across the Atlantic. the Atlantic Ocean, so probably flying uh, to like, across the seas. Either back or mm. yeah. That sucks. And he was in. Economy? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no oh, way. Man, it doesn't give us all of that. <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, is it hit? I'm not. I'm sure How much for private flights then? Well, your blood clot don't care where you're sitting. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you just say you can clot up if you're not getting movement on the plane, right? Yeah, yeah but that means like getting up and walking around. Or I'll get you know, up stretch from your leg. My window seat in the economy and walk around. Everybody, excuse me. Right, mm-hmm. right. Real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dang, just, like, that just, sucks. I, I've definitely got on flights before, and my stomach was hurting. I just let the people next to me. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna be moving a lot. <laughs> I had to smooth it before this flight. Don't let me be flying with my toddler. I, I gotta warn the whole row all the way through. I'll pay you to move. <laughs> Wait. So what if the three of us had to sit on the flight? Uh huh. You two would have to fight for the window seat. More than correct. Likely. Mm-hmm. Cause we're I going, gotta go, so maybe I'll take the aisle seat and you I not gonna sit in the aisle. middle. But I'm a, I'm gonna try to upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> three in a row is crazy. So anytime there are two people <laughs> on your row, you're like, I can't be on this row. Yeah, it's it's tough. It's really tough. Wow. Because I be I be cramped. I don't ever put my stuff in the overhand, so I st- I have it with me, mm. and I don't be I don't be getting up. So yeah, like there yeah, was this I one you so there was this one flight where I just. Could not stop farting, right? (laughs) 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 I could could not stop. And there was a baby in the row before, uh, uh, like above us. So you blame it on the baby? Everybody else blamed it, and I was just like, what a stinky baby. (laughs) Oh, that baby. (laughs) I bet that baby woke up out of his sleep like... That baby sucks. Excuse me? I just rolled with it. I didn't set him up, but I didn't clear his name either. You were cold piece. Cold. Almost as cold as Bespoke. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't heard of Bespoke, you need to get on this train, all right? You get an amazing box full of amazing contents, and it catches your eye as soon as you see it. It doesn't matter what you're into. You take a small quiz before you sign up, and they find out what type of things you like, and the box is going to be filled with those contents. In my latest box, I got this amazing real leather wallet. And this is like the exact same wallet that I'm using right now, Way better quality. I'm not gonna hold you. Feel that. Feel that and smell that right there. That's real leather right there. Oh, that's, a, that's, that's, fir- that's first that, class right that's there. That's first class mm-hmm. leather right there. Mm-hmm. Um, I also have this gold rollerball pin. The top comes off nice. and then it's magnetic at the back so you Fire. don't lose it. And I have this uh, amazing, like, little do everything little tool right here. You can open a beer bottle. It has um, the end of it is like a, uh, a, a screwdriver. Um, has leverage right here, so you can pop other things, and then even if you needed to get like, get a nail out, it's way more handy than I'm probably going to use it for. I'm really just going to use it to open up beer bottles, but <laughs> I have it, okay? And I'm just building a collection of dope stuff, so when people come over to the office, they're like, oh my God, what is this? Yeah, I know you want to know. So, when you become a member, you'll have access to stellar discounts across a plethora of products. We're talking 30% off. And each box of awesomeness, you're supporting a small business. 90% of everything that comes in your box comes from a small business or up-and-coming brand. It's free to sign up, and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. I love those options because sometimes you're like, I can't do it this month. Oh, I don't need it this month. So uh, get your free mystery gift with your first monthly shipment when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. And enter the code DIYS at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code DIYS for a free mystery gift and your first monthly shipping. So, boxofawesome.com, code DIYS, sign up today, get you some awesomeness in your life. Yeah, did that. Mm, that was that was that was nice. Mm-hmm. That was nice. What's uh, up with this dead <coughs> two ladies and this dead person? Oh, you're not talking about Italy. <laughs> you talking about Italy? Um, you gonna drop some 
I've some never stuff. been to Italy. We're going for one week. Uh, my my Ooh, parents week. are watching the baby. Oh, so that's just gonna go be very fun. We get oh, just me and him. Nice. It's, 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 it's just it's gonna be like a, a, a reunion. Yeah, because <laughs> it hasn't been just yeah, me and him. I, 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 I bet it hasn't. And I still kind of like him. <laughs> How long Even has after been? toddler, we've been together all together about ten years. Okay, so nice. we've been married for five in May. So okay. this is kind of like the anniversary. Yeah. Is that when you guys are going? May? No, we're going um, like in two weeks, but okay. like by the time we come back, it'll start getting close to it. No, we're not gonna be that, that are you, long. Are you guys itinerary people or let's see what we can find type of people? Um, he's an itinerary person, that makes sense. and he will run me through mm-hmm. what because he likes to. I like the vacation. He likes to explore. Yeah, he likes to be like, let's go to all the museums. Mm-hmm. Let's go on the the, the tours. We and have I'm to agree like, about that before we go. Hi, <laughs> Don't I pop that on me once we get there. Right. Because now I make plans to sleep in. He's like, all right, we got to get out to catch it. No, yes. no, the fuck we don't. Yes, yes. <laughs> go back to sleep. Exactly. Yeah. No, he likes to be up in Adam and it's like, let's go on a, a five mile walk of the city. I was like, or <laughs> <laughs> hear me out. Exactly. Are there or. tours? We could do exactly what we would do at home, mm-hmm. but here. How about let's we just do eat pasta a, and get back in bed? Um uh, what is it called? We do a treasure hunt in the yes. room. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. So you find you find your ID. Like a gondola ride. Yeah. In the bathtub. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there we go. There's still Ooh. a nigga in the back singing. Call somebody it's in the room. Some yeah. Yes. All of that. Yes. I want to have my lady in the tramp moment, but in the room. <laughs> Who's the lady who's Absolutely. the tramp? I don't know. It's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. So is that y'all vacation style? Like, we here, this is dope, but I still want to kind of, like, chill. Like, what is what is y'all exploration level? Because, you know, when you when it takes a lot of money and a lot of time to get to a place, I feel like a lot of a lot of people kind of want to see something, you know? Yes, yes. That's why we, we pair well, because I'm good for maybe one historical, educational event per day. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I need a good, like, nightlife activity mm-hmm. or a good dinner. Okay. Yeah. He could probably, he doesn't really care about the nice dinners and stuff. Mm. He could explore all day. Really? Yes. Yeah, so, or sometimes, like, we ain't got to do everything together. Like, yeah. why don't you go to that third museum mm-hmm. and I'm going to go to the little, you know, in European countries, you can kind of post up outside. You can just sit at a restaurant, and just people watch yeah, all day sometimes. Right. So, I might do that once or twice. Okay. Because okay. I, I, can I can't walk all day. Yeah. No, no. Right? No. I got one day. If we there for a week, I maybe have one and a half days of explore. I'm wow. gonna get this. Re- I'm going to get this relaxation in. See, that's how eat, I feel too. And I want to drink some, some, some good wine at some bars. Okay, I want to give nasty looks to people that give nasty looks back to me. Oh, I love you know? giving a nasty oh, look. Like you just walk in, you see somebody, and I'm like, <laughs> "What you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> That's part and of the vacation. That's a good I nasty look, bitch. <laughs> I need a little bit of that fight yeah, in me. I don't do I, that. Well, I have very good eye contact. Yes. But if it's a stare off, mm-hmm. I'll give up. I'm like, oh, nah, you, nah, you nah, win it. I'm, 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 I'm gonna go for the kids. I can't hold it. I'm gonna go for the kids. <laughs> yes, the whole family. The whole family gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you're scared. I'm like, oh, nobody's off limits. Yeah. Get kids. <laughs> I, w- I would probably be like, you got it. Like, nah, nah, like I would nah, probably nah, say nah. that. Hey, I'm gonna be at your house later. <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll be the one in the clown suit. <laughs> he upgraded to it. Right? <laughs> it get, get really creepy with it. <laughs> I'd be like, you want some of our wine? Like, you still looking at us? You all right? <laughs> Nah. That'll be me. I'm not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we talk about this, uh, this, these Ooh, crazy ladies. Let's Look do at it. these mugshots. Okay, Miss. Now, Miss Mama's did her hair before. <laughs> Miss Mama's on the right. That's crazy. Like that's how you show she up to take a mugshot. Yeah, they, yeah, she, she had plans for the day. They pulled up and got her early. She did one she half. Said, though. Yeah. Now you know, Jeanette, we finna get caught. Mm. So let's put <laughs> these ringlets. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what you playing? Well, we, yeah. we looking at a photo. I, I'm assuming these are mugshots. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know why they have different lenses, but <laughs> 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 one's an extreme close up. Jeanette was moving. Jeanette, back up. She's in the camera. Arrested. Yeah. Uh, so this is a trending story. Uh, apparently, two women are accused of driving a dead man to a bank to mm-hmm. withdraw money. Wow. It's like uh, he was dead. He wasn't gonna be able to do weekend it. Weekend at Bernie's. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so this happened in Ohio. Two women in northeast uh, Northeast Ohio are accused of driving the body of an 80-year-old man to a bank to withdraw money from his account before dropping the dead man off at a hospital. Uh, <laughs> Ka- interesting name. Karen right. uh, Casbohm and Laureen Bia Ferralo. Some old names. Yeah, they are. Laureen. Uh, they were charged with gross abuse of a corpse and theft from a person in protected class. In a protected class, I didn't, what does that mean? Does that mean because he's old? Uh, or because he's white? I don't know. <laughs> could be because he's yeah. rich. Right. Hey, could be rich. What are the too. protections? He said, this, the, um, I don't know why they added this. The prosecuting attorney said, this is very unusual. <laughs> that's, that's about it. I love murder, what is this? murder is. A- Ash- Ashtabula County police officer. Like, Ashtabula. <laughs> Ashtabula. Ashtabula. We, this okay. is, I, I can see him just like starting his Monday, got his coffee. They're like, two old bitches killed another old man. He's like, <laughs> He's this is very unusual. What do they find? The energy. God, <laughs> yeah, for God. real. Samson, let's go. <laughs> it says the two women allegedly propped Layman's body up in the front seat of a vehicle, then drove to a bank drive through to withdraw money, and it was only nine hundred dollars. Oh, uh, give them, cut the ladies some slack. For, I mean, they wait, still they'll kill somebody. Them? They still kill somebody. That's, Do, oh, did okay, they kill so him? did they kill him or was he dead? He's eighty. He, he was already dead. I think he just. I think he was already dead, and they just um, wanted to steal his money. So That's four fifty each. So they didn't kill him. They didn't kill him, yeah. But for so why years. let a good bank account go to waste? Let me tell you though, Damn. they did. They, they did. They <laughs> didn't kill him, but they still carried this dead corpse out to the car, fastened the seatbelt, put him up, propped his head because you know his head was like this. They probably had to tape his head to the back of the seat. <laughs> okay, and they got put some sunglasses on him, and went through traffic. Yeah, <laughs> weekend and Bernie's this man to try to steal nine hundred dollars, four fifty each. That's insane. I, Okay, I'm trying to find it for the ladies because There's I just don't find. think what? it's that bad. Like, you, you've never what? had some older... Now, I'm from Georgia, so follow me, camera. <laughs> you, your old family members... Have you ever had an old family member pass away mm-hmm. and the rest of the family is back there just with the body? Like, you've never experienced that? No. Uh, okay. We get them up out of there when they go. No. Mm-hmm. I've definitely had, a like, a great-grandmother die, mm-hmm. and then the family's calling, like, just so y'all know, she's still over here. But she's, like, in the bed, still dead. No. Like, they, no, like they're doing, like, their there. own wake, and then they're going to call the people tomorrow. We got to get them up out of here for that rigor mortis set in. Okay? <laughs> yeah, it's harder to move that body with that rigor. When that blood didn't stiffen up. And, you know, oxygen in that blood, it didn't get stiffed on up. But that's what, on. That's, that's, Once I started law, watching Law & Order... We can have Bernie's lost all of his appeal to me. Because it's like, they had this motherfucker out here break dancing. It's like, what type of blood does Bernie... Why the body ain't started stinking? Ain't no gases being released? I was like, Ugh, my TV just part. be lying to you. He That's had crazy. three movies. They, there was a sequel? Yes, there was a Weekend in Bernie's too. It might have been three, and, but I know for sure two. And it was the same he, dead nigga? The same dead nigga! He was on a boat! Wait, but so they how, didn't even do all that. They just took him through the drive through Hey, listen. They didn't walk to... him inside, arm over what? arm. They didn't do. They didn't treat him like a scarecrow. <laughs> they were it like, we're, we're taking him to the hospital. Let's just have... Let's just, you ain't never been in route to somewhere like, let's just make a pit stop <laughs> at the bank. I really don't think that they did something that egregious. So wait, a Weekend at Bernie's 1 didn't end with a funeral? No, he was on the beach. <laughs> I think at the end of a weekend at Bernie's one. See, they didn't take him to the beach. <laughs> they didn't take him on the boat. They were en route to the hospital, so they were saving the ambulance some money. They were saving resources. Listen, that's they crazy. saved the ambulance no, trip. No, have you seen the prices of rent and gas? They just needed hear, five dollars. They needed nine hundred dollars to pay some rent. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> was that all he they had? Still, <laughs> <laughs> why not empty the bank account? <laughs> also, where's the victim's name? Uh, layman. Oh, his! Oh, I thought that was like you know in layman's terms. His name is Layman. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many jokes in there for his name to actually be Layman. Hey, maybe he. They the reason it's called that. He's yeah. old, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe he is Layman. But oh. their bond was five thousand dollars. We all need to. That was, a, that was an all around fail. All of us need to Layman in the back seat and oh, take him to the drive thru and crazy. get our money. I've never been to a drive thru ATM. What? How old are you? Or young? I should 34. say. Thirty-four. You've never like put I, the money I, in the in the tube? No. I like a that. check. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I used to do like, it with my mom all the yeah. time. I don't do it now because I, I go to your credit union and most of them don't have it. But 
Yeah, I used to love fill out the little slip right there, Hell put the check yeah. in there, put the slip back in there, close it. Goes yes. up right there. Me up. Yes. I've, I've seen that in movies. And they send a lollipop back. Where are you no, from? Don't. Do they really? You ain't never seen a dead body in the back of a room. You ain't, never, <laughs> you ain't never seen them shoot the money out the tube. Where are you from? And you went to Napa when it was beautiful. Wait, so who did that process if if he was dead? Were they pretending to yeah, have him like, do hey, it? Hey, I'm here with James. Yeah, James Layman. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, doing this uh this deposit. For James, how much? You James that say he need nine hundred dollars. James out. sleep. That nigga was sitting there like, Laureen, wake him up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> say hey, James. <laughs> Should have grabbed his sleeve. He's doing this shit. He goes, <laughs> yeah. Put a pen in his hand. Pop it in. I approve this. Look, <laughs> they said that the bank teller had let them come through before and withdraw money, um, as long as he was in the car. So maybe wow. he's always kind of discom. I like. Out they of needed nine hundred dollars. Yeah, so the, the fraud. You know, they didn't kill him, but I mean, they're committing fraud. So. Do we know that? Do we know they didn't kill him? Where's Layman's yeah, money I, I going? He was just dead, and they just stole his money. Mm. Damn. But I'm dead. If I'm, if you gonna do that and put me in the news, he still probably more than nine hundred. He knew he was on. He probably would have gave him nine hundred. Like, let me. That's see probably how they reasoned it. Like, he okay. would have given this. To let us. me ask y'all this: <laughs> How much does it cost to call an ambulance? Five hundred. They go to your house and you take. So, Damn. they, they save money ride. there. Mm-hmm. Justice for Karen and Laureen. <laughs> <laughs> would this have been? Justice. Would this I have... want to see justice for these ladies. If they just took him to the hospital, would they have gotten charges? No, no. They're Aren't getting you... charged with trying to steal his money and, probably... and But what was that other thing? Gross, gross abuse, gross abuse of a corpse. That's, what was that's the abuse the, part? That's putting him in <laughs> the front seat and putting a seatbelt on him and. Probably putting glasses on them. I'm just saying, people do a horrible like thing to, yeah, to corpses. But, yeah. Taking it for a ride through the drive through isn't that bad. It's That's not true. that bad, but it, I mean, like, it ain't helping it. Gross it ain't helping at all. They made a term. pit stop on the way to the they bank. They made a bad Sound judgment in call, chat. Amber. It's a bad. See, she's the type of person that like supports the women on Snap. <laughs> Well, I could see how they got there. Justice you for Ben. To... <laughs> yeah, this is not ben. helping my I love my husband. Case. Yeah, it's not at all. I hope when I pa- like pass away, he puts me in the back no, seat. No, he will and, not. And gets the money. No self-respecting human <laughs> would. Okay? He, he wouldn't need to do that. Too. Yeah, y'all have a joint account. <laughs> he does, but just in case. He That's crazy let to him clean your own bank account up. I love him. <laughs> let him have $900. mm mm <laughs> Mm-mm. That's no. wild. They look like they would have done it though. It's it's very believable. Well, especially yeah. I just know she's smiling. She didn't Lorraine. like it. Yeah, she was like, God damn. Karen I told has you the this curls. Yeah, Lorraine is definitely for Lorraine. Back up. Yeah. <laughs> I Lauren need my good sister. Lorraine got that little camera. smirk on her. She, she, she like, well, fuck like, it. We I had to try it again. Karen's like, I told you we should have been over here at Ashtabula County. I, should, yeah, yeah. I said we were going to get caught. Mm-hmm. And you didn't believe me. <laughs> All right, so what's the what's y'all dollar amount to pull something like this? You knew it was going to go smoothly. You knew how much money they had. What, what, what type of money is making you do this with a dead person? I mean, it would at least have to be like... 10k or something like 900 dollars from a drive through you going to jail <laughs> your bond was five thousand dollars <laughs> yeah so you ain't even going no i'm good yeah it's, y'all ain't never been down and out huh no i have <laughs> this is down and out here's <laughs> the thing it's no amount of money for me because most banks be don't fabulous. have don't have don't have the type of money it would it would alert for me to risk my freedom, most yeah, of that fair. money isn't in the bank. Or Because I'm talking like but 20, 30 million. But you just said won't get caught. No, I didn't. <laughs> he said, oh, that, yeah, oh, he said you know it's going to go wrong. You know, you know how much oh. money they have, and you know the ATM part was going to go well because of the, oh, the that's bank's where I, rules. Oh, that's what I confused. You said ah. it's going to go well. But also, you, if you say a million dollars, I don't know if an ATM is going to do that. The, ATM, the limit is five. Thank you. For 5,000? 5, 500 at oh, an ATM. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Five to 700 is most of you're not of an ATM. And mm. if you ask for more than ten thousand dollars at a window, you have to get approval. Like mm-hmm. somebody has to come over, managers there. Now the cameras are on you, right? Mm-hmm. So it's not going to be easy. The only way you can get that big lump sum of money from a bank is to rob it. 
But then when you rob it, you got to go somewhere to clean the money because all of those bills are marked. Now you ain't never cleaned no money before, so now you got to find somebody that's going to clean your money. They got to wash the shit. And let me tell you, that's not a one or two day process. (laughs) And if you don't know that person, you don't have a history of them, they're going to rob you. Okay, the typical cleaning of money typically is about 15 to 20%. But if you ain't never been there before, they're going to get your ass for a good 30, 35. So now if you took 10 million from there and you think you're going to get 8 million back after you got your money watched, no, bitch, you're going to get about 7, 6.5. Okay. And even with that 6.5, unless you leave the country and go somewhere they don't have extradition, then you're going to get caught because all of a sudden now you can afford a Carvet, pay cash in the same day, and you moved to a brand new home or condo. No, bitch, you're making too much noise. You got to get out of the country. You got to spread that money out over four or five offshore accounts, and then you got to go somewhere without an extradition, okay? And when you travel, you need to have a fake passport, a new identity, and change your fucking look. That's how niggas get caught. Hmm. Where's my purse? <laughs> I, I, want a, I want a new seat. <laughs> never still a purse. Not enough money in it for me. <laughs> you probably, Did you just hear my breakdown? I'm not gonna so do here, no you know purse. a little too much. I uh, just uh, did offshore accounts uh, research. You you gonna be the new legion, huh? <laughs> I've just done research. I was I, I had for research question. purposes, of course. Yeah, like what purposes. would it take for me to to rob a bank? How much would it take for me to really put forth the effort into it? And then you got to think about the hurdles that you're gonna have to go through before. Uh, you can actually live off of that money. Now, you could sit back and be like, I'm just going to stay here and I'm just going to spend a little bit, but eventually you don't want to stun on niggas. You're going to go to Vegas, you'll be like, oh, we buying bottles? Bitch, I'll buy the bar, right? Now you spent $15,000 in one night. That's going to draw some eyes. Especially yeah. if your spending habits don't total more than like 3500 to 5000 a month. You just spent 15000 in one night? Bitch, what you doing? What it's gonna do. raise some eyebrows, so you have to think about that type of stuff. And most people don't have the discipline to hold on to the money and spend mm-hmm. frivolously until you move out of the country. That's why people got caught up with them PPP loans. Oh, absolutely, niggas out here living like bitch, that buying new cars. Didn't ever look you got sound like eight a good people idea. in a two bedroom <laughs> apartment, and you got an M three or M five. What yeah. are you doing? That was a crazy time. They Listen. needed to call to here. He should have. Next Because I'm going to put you on game. Like these jeans I got on, these are called perfect jeans. Okay? These come in sizes from 26 to 50 and from the length of 26 to 38. And they go from six different fits, from skinny to thick, thick. You know your boy <laughs> got that thick, thick. I got them hips. I got Emma Jeans hips. These are my mama's hips. All right? Emma these jeans. jeans, I love them. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to just kind of get up here real quick. Look at the stretch on these. <laughs> you see the stretch on these right here? You see how much it's giving right here? We I can love- put a water. Yeah. bottle in this goddamn pocket. I'm not going to, but I could. I love the fit of these jeans. When they reached out to us, I'm like, oh, well, I hope they send me some jeans. And they did. They sent me a couple pair, and all of them are comfortable. All of them are stylish. All of them fit my hips. Let me tell you something. As a thick man in America, most jeans aren't for me. But perfect jeans are... Mwah, mwah, double chef's kips. I'm I'm doubling up on the l- deliciousness. Listen, I mm-hmm. want you guys to try this out, especially fellas who might be from the South. You know what I'm saying? Midwest. You got your mamas and your aunties hips. You got some childbearing <laughs> hips. These jeans are made for you, man. They are the perfect denim for all the difficulties that you've been facing throughout your life. All right, I've been husky all my life. Also, that's a messed up word to call an eight-year-old. We need to fix that. <laughs> But the point is, you can fix it right now. All right, it's finally time to stop crushing your balls and uncomfortable jeans by going to theperfectgene.nyc. All right, our listeners get 15% off um, your first order plus free shipping. Plus free shipping. We save you extra money with it, okay? Free returns and free exchanges when you use the code DIYS at checkout. That's 15% off for new customers at theperfectgene.nyc with the promo code DIYS. After you purchase, they ask you where you heard it about. Please let them know from the show and support us as we continue to support you with these dope discounts and dope brands. All right? Perfectgene.nyc. It's a good name. Perfect jeans. And they are. They're fantastic. I like them, man. (laughs) Not husky at age eight. (laughs) Let me tell you something. Husky is just more weight. I mean, more waist. They don't really give you nothing in the thighs. That's why I needed it. That's what my trouble area was. My thighs are eight. (laughs) Relatable. I had a switch. I've always had big thighs, too. Yeah. I had I had I had I had a switch and I was pigeon toed and none of that helped. <laughs> none of it. You understand I me? Mean? That, was, custom a, that jeans. was a hard middle school lunch table. Huh? <laughs> oh. So I started selling drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why you know you just put us on. Hey man, listen, I'm out here to help the people. Oop. Bishop. Oop, bishop, 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 bishop. You can tell by the jacket. 
Hey, listen, he stayed sharp, though. I'm not going to hold you. Bishop that Whitehead. That is so tacky, though. What, I don't like lo- that Like, suit. what you just said about yeah. you can't go to Vegas and spend mm-hmm. 15000 at the club. Mm-hmm. Like, I can never listen to uh, somebody dressed in a Gucci suit yeah. talk about, talk about the Lord. being a humble servant of yeah. the Lord. Mm-hmm. Right. That, don't, that, mm-hmm. don't, that just don't look right. That's it always don't. looked weird. Like, pastors with chains and private planes and yeah. stuff. It's like... Those are tithes. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. The I'm tithes. Like, nice chain, get. Pastor. Oh <laughs> man. Bishop Whitehead found guilty of conning church member out of ninety thousand bank fraud, extortion, uses the church's money for designer clothes mm-hmm. and more, facing forty five years in prison. Damn. That's real life evil. Yeah. Like yeah. if you just gonna be a Scammer, scam, but they they scam in churchgoers. Mm-hmm. Churchgoers. Anybody can get it. Those are the easiest to scam. Right. Yeah. You can like, look for Jesus. God told me. Yeah. 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 It's like, all right. I remember we talked about the uh, mm. the ninety k. I think it was like an old lady who was part mm-hmm. of the church her whole life. But bank fraud, extortion is the most interesting one for me. Money for designer clothes. I feel like they all do that. Who mm-hmm. was being extorted? Yeah. Well, uh, you probably uh, making them pay for uh, prayers. What? Uh, yeah. Somebody Subscription. Give me a, a loose definition of extortion again. Isn't that when you like force somebody to pay them? you? Like, ex- like when people, when businesses get extorted and like mobsters come in and they'll be like, it'd be a shame if this place Something caught on fire. fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real give soprano me energy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what, what, how, what was he saying to them? Like, it'd be a shame if, if that cancer in you didn't heal, Ooh, I could shit. put up a prayer for you. Oh, like a, but like, like a paid how did he... prayer service? Mm-hmm. Well, it says right here, uh, Whitehead abused the trust of his congregation and lied to them about knowing powerful figures in Hollywood. Also, he could get his little greedy hands on their money. <laughs> I really don't think this is a, a valid source. It's probably, not <laughs> a, it's probably not official, but it's okay. true. His little he greedy hands. He promised to use the money to buy a fixer-upper home that would renovate, I'm sorry, that he would renovate for her to live in, and she believed the defendant, a man who by that time had become a mentor and a spiritual advisor to her son. Damn. Wait, so I'm giving you money to buy me a house and fix it up. Why don't we just cut the middleman? Right? Well, you know, he says he knows somebody. Listen, I got oh. this house I can get for you. He knows. And I'll fix it up for you. All right, I'll make it real nice. I know. We're going to get Obama. those old granite tops on. We're going to put marble tops on. All right? We're going to get uh, you all stainless open steel Open kitchen appliances. layout. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. We're going to knock some of the walls out. You, know, you just need two bedrooms? Because oh. this is a three. So I'm, I'm just going to make it a, a big two-bedroom for you. Get you a nice walk-in closet. That is disgusting. How much can you need, Pastor? Shit, about 90000 <laughs> I'm loving this this caption here saying like guess he'll be trading in those Gucci suits for an orange jumpsuit. <laughs> Damn, more at eleven. It uh, says he uh, he spent the money on designer clothes and a BMW instead. He even tried to extort a car repair man for five k for a five k job. Mm. It, his schemes didn't stop there. He even created uh, fake bank documents to get a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan. This man thought he was Simon Gubeda or something. There's a yeah, lot of uh, personal not, opinions. Not them bringing Simon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that somebody's ex-husband? Uh, Portia Portia's? Williams, yes. He been in the Instagram stories a lot. Yeah, well, they all, they've only recently split. Right. I want to say in the last month or so. Yeah, but he's like leaving googly eyes under new women's pictures and all that. He's out here living his life. He, he, oh, he out in the streets. That's not nice. Hey, man. Simon's living his life, man, just like he was living his life. Damn. This, this has okay. been going on forever. Okay, here I go again. I the only person that may need to get extorted is the car repair man. Because that's just <laughs> that's karma. they do scam. Car repair guys scam. That's karma. I will go try to get my car fixed and then they'll give me a quote. I'll send my husband up there. It's a fraction of the cost. So I, yeah. I don't mind him scamming the car repair man. All his being has to do is get out the car and just Right. I need to talk to someone in yeah. charge. And they go, oh, in charge of this establishment. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Yes. Uh, what, what's his about? My wife? What wife? The black lady? <gasps> They're like, <gasps> what we had told her was the, like, a uh, $500 to, oil change. Yeah, That's all yeah. it was going to cost. I'm yeah, like, yeah. 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 We you thought that she had a supercharge. <laughs> yeah, supercharge Honda CRV. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> See, so, get, so, yeah. But this is Scam the same car repair man. This is the same pastor that uh, allegedly got robbed on camera when he was streaming and the guys right. ran in and, and made off with some he knew them. or something. Yeah. I would have loved he absolutely knew them. being yeah, in like, the congregation that day, oh, to shit. be honest with you. Steve, you would have got said, robbed. Not that, the face. <laughs> well, it, just the pastor got robbed, right? Yeah. Oh, they didn't rob the other people? I thought they robbed the, the jewelry. Or they might have took some stuff, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That'd you know, we're being halfway sleep in church. 
Mm-hmm. You wake up to <laughs> a guy. No, wake you up. It's a gun. The pastor getting robbed. <laughs> God, like, that, oh, yeah, and the theater kid in me would have been like, oh, is this like a part of the sermon? <laughs> like, this is like live theater right now. Like, right. I would have loved Maybe it was tied into his message. Like, sometimes yeah, yeah. the it, devil it, takes some <laughs> shit away. And then like, <laughs> Q, Q devil. Uh, uh, video <laughs> shows yeah. New York Bishop robbed at gunpoint doing... We Service. should rewatch it so we can see, like, okay, was this? <clears throat> I they called them. They said rehearsed combat snap for caught on camera mid sermon robbery in Flashley, Brook- Brooklyn. Bishop Lamar Whitehead. So they called him. So he I wonder have. if they flipped. Or not. He might Who's have this been white woman shit. next to him? Is that his wife, or is that uh, the other woman that got robbed? I don't know. Let me let me try to see. Let me let me hold this around. Hold on, hold on. Let's they see, look let's like see. mob bosses. It could have been uh, get back for something. People need if he was to... out here scamming. That means you into some shit. Yeah, yeah. He, he probably got a gambling ha- habit. Yeah, people gambling need your habit. consulting. M- listen. What would you, if, if this pastor was making all this money, <clears throat> mm-hmm. what what would you have told him to show up wearing? Because a Gucci suit mm-hmm. is like, I you're, you're a number that. one suspect. Jesus yeah, robes. Yeah. I, this, this is, I would tell him, hey man, live lavishly on vacation. All right? If you want to be a servant of the people, then you have to dress like them or a little bit better to give them hope. They know they're never <laughs> going to be able to afford that. Right, so you don't have to do that, but you can do a nice, like, tailor suit, right? Because that's still yes. the when You can go downtown, get your little cheap old eighty dollar suit, like solid color, dollars. yeah, right. But they don't have to know where you got yours from. But this is, is too gaudy. You bring it too much attention to. This is the yep. the the fur coat that Frank Lucas' girlfriend got him to wear yep. to the fight. Right, right. Now you got too many eyes on you. Yep. You doing this service? Glasses. You dress like this, and you're in Brooklyn. What are you What are you thinking? It's that it's ego. A terrible suit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's too much, man. The, it's, yeah. it's too much. We, we can overlook all the extortion mm-hmm. and all the fraud. Yeah. It's tacky. Yeah. That, that's the real crime. What are you doing at Diddy's <laughs> parties, bro? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Lay right. hands? It's, Look at this one. You had a finny suit on this one. And the, and it looks like some these these frames look expensive and as well. Like Cardi's, and it looks like you just That's got crazy. a chemical peel. Yeah. Face, <laughs> the face is sitting. You got a lineup. No. And he pulled up in a new BMW after taking the house money. So it's just like, hey, what happened? When did you, you get look that? Guilty, bro. You're, just, you're, you're doing it too much, man. You're doing too much. You gotta you gotta you gotta keep a low profile if you wanna like. See, this is the thing. This is why most this is why most drug dealers get caught because everybody thinks that. That next goal is gonna be the biggest one, or uh, you know they're gonna they're gonna do this. They're gonna get to the point of their kingpin and all of that. None of them have an exit strategy. If I was to sell dope, and I'm only gonna do big shit, like I'm only gonna do kilos of cocaine or something only like kilos that. Of cocaine. I got I have a <laughs> I it. have a number that I need to hit, and then I'm done. Now here's the thing: like a lot of times, if you're in like in a crime syndicate or organization, if you're holding a high position, a high ranking position, they're not gonna let you out. Right. So you have to do this shit solo, right? So you have to tell somebody, hey, I got to do this shit for a little bit. I got to get out of town. They're catching on to me. I'm telling motherfuckers that from the jump. Our first mm-hmm. deal, boom, right? So if I could do this shit for eight months, eight nine months, and I hit that number, I'm fucking disappearing. You're never gonna see me again. I don't know no numbers. I don't got no contacts, none of that type of shit. They get most greedy. People always think that they can keep going. They can become a kingpin. You can't. I don't know a really old drug dealer. They all get caught. They all get caught. Mm. Or killed. But I don't know. I, I think the the main part of that is people not letting you go. Because either you're gonna have to interact with other criminals at some point. Because yeah. if you start making money, they're gonna be like, hey. We were supposed to bank that money. Yeah. Yeah. So how you would you... You stay, had to stay on a job, and they're like, I know you said it's going to be your last year, but can, mm-hmm. we, can we just keep you one more? Maybe that's how that man. happened this, in this uh, what Narcos. Doing, uh, <laughs> See? Like, I was supposed to retire I, this year. I, 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 I would figure out who I can sell to to get off this shit, right? I'm never working with the same people more than two times. It's for us, like, the people that's going to watch my back. All right? Because I'm going to have them somewhere close by while I'm doing a deal with guns that aren't loaded. Right, so it looks like they are, and they're going to be under the impression that they are. But hopefully, they'll never have a reason to try to use it and figure out they're not loaded. Right, and after that, find two more people that need some money. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it may take to keep me in some some form of anonymity, they can they can never piss me in some shit. Did I say it wrong? Say it say it for me. An- anonymity. Anonymity. An- anonymity. Anonymity. That word was shouldn't also, exist. <laughs> all right. That's I was a terrible goddamn word. close, right? Was like, that I was, was doing that's really a well. crazy yeah. word. I was you doing really well all we... episode, and then an- an- anonymity <laughs> got me. That's a fucked up hard word anyway. It, it, you're teaching me that I would be a horrible criminal. 
No, I'm just. I'm a bad a liar. I is... wouldn't be thinking about. I wouldn't be flashy with it, but mm-hmm. I would. For, I'm like, oh, you asked for the guns to be unloaded. Shit. You listen. Like, I, they would check. They, they wouldn't. I wouldn't give them to unload it. Got you. Yeah. I, I would. If I did, it would be all blank. Like... It would, I would be all blanks. You don't think they'll go like this? Yes. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. If it's blank, then they they won't know. If there were blanks, instructions. Blanks don't look different. Blanks, I mean, you won't be able to tell. You you can tell when you're loading blanks that mm-hmm. they're different. I think it's a different color on the shell or the back of it. But if I got a nigga that just need money and I'm like, hey, I just need, I'm going to pay you $500 just to watch my back. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's not loaded so that they won't double cross you? Yeah. I will put blanks in it so they won't double cross me. What if the people you're dealing with start shooting? I'll have a real gun. Or if, well, yeah, what that's, if they brought their own? Like, hey, I know listen, he gave me these, that, but I'm gonna get them. That's a that's a risk, risk I got to take. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to have these um, I'm gonna try to have these safe falls in in place to make sure that it, that doesn't happen. I just I that's like you ever you ever walk in a room and you're like, what was I supposed to get in this room? Mm-hmm. I, that would be me <laughs> trying to be a part of a drug cartel. <laughs> I'm like, okay, he said these pills are uppers. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say about the? These pills, though. <laughs> no, they would They're know either that. like roofies or Adderall. I can't ah. remember. I'll figure it out. That you would wouldn't label me. them? <laughs> no, because I'd have then, a labeling system. And then I'm, I, my, my handwriting would probably be like, oh, we know who this is. It's, it's see, just you me gotta, too you, 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 I don't believe that you want to label it. You seem like too much of an organized person to not label. I label everything. I label everything, but it's still a, a level of it's organized chaos. Mm, yeah, and I think like chaos. you have to be organized. Crime is what first organized. Mm-hmm. So like whenever yeah. I've seen the movies of the ladies naked, like measuring everything, I was like, I would have just been like, okay, did I have to feel this bad? <laughs> oh yeah, you would have killed. Been too much. <laughs> you get killed real <laughs> fast. I would be <laughs> great on the drug marketing thing. <laughs> <laughs> like Lincoln Bio, you know where to find us Lincoln on the bio. corner. Yeah, yeah. I would be great no. with that. You already lost. <laughs> <laughs> but you need somebody like that. <laughs> I don't know if you do. I tell you what though, I'm I'm labeling my pills because the last thing I want to do is go on a trip and take my aspirin instead of my blue chew. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah, 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 my headache is fine, but now everybody's old lady mad at me. Okay. Uh, which is what we're not going to do. I'm going to take that blue. I pack my blue chew before I do anything else. And for those that don't know, blue chew is an amazing tablet made in the USA. It has the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis and Le- uh, Levitra. It is way better, in my opinion, because it's chewable. Okay. And you can take it anytime, day or night. So you can be ready when uh, that little action arises. You understand me? Um, the process is very simple. I love the fact that you can do everything online. No more having to set up an appointment with a doctor and go in and all of that. No, 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 no. You answer a couple questions on the survey, and once you submit that, somebody from the, a physician from that licensed team will, I'm sorry, a licensed physician from the team will get back to you, answer your question, and then the, the shipment will arrive to your door in a couple of days. You don't have to go nowhere. You ain't got to stand in line, no pharmacy. You ain't got to have no awkward conversations, nothing like that. It's a super Simple and to the point. We've been rocking for uh, Blue Chew for, uh, what, three? Three and a half? I feel like since the beginning. Since the beginning, yeah. Since we first started getting mm-hmm. ads. And it is one of our best, one of our strongest, one of our most believed in ads and uh, sponsors. Um, I absolutely love it, okay? I'm, I'm right. I think I get the 15 a month, 15 or 20 a month deal. And uh, I no regrets. You understand <laughs> me? No regret. So if you want to check this out, you want to get your first month completely free, you need to get on over to bluechew.com. Use the code DIYS. You'll get your first shipment completely free. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. Now, you got $5, Buster. Go ahead and use that $5. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Try out something different. Try out something new, something I support, man. You never know. You know. Again, I didn't need Blue Chew. I just wanted to see what it was going to be like. And let me tell you, ain't no going back. <laughs> Ain't no stopping us now. We're, We're on, on the move. We're Bluetooth.com. <laughs> We're on the chew. <laughs> We're on the chew. Bluetooth.com. Use the promo code DIYS. And uh, yeah, thank me later, baby, on my Drake shit. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing the, the TikTok ban? Oh, baby. I just saw. This is crazy. Uh, I I re- this is giving me anxiety all morning. This really? can't be happening. Yes. Why? I like, be ticking and talking. That's, that's <laughs> She's.
got that, that's, got that's like one point five million. Okay. I do. Yeah. Million? Yes. Y'all ain't like gonna yeah. see me if TikTok get mad. I gotta move back to the GA. Hey, that's what I was thinking about. That part right there for all the content creators that are like have mm-hmm. this as a main source of income. Oh yeah, this is like the we live in the creator economy. So yeah. this is a huge like we we're not worried about the TikTok employees. We'll, yeah. we'll get to them in a second. <laughs> well, they'll still be all right. They still can manage. Like, yeah, they can just apply yeah. for another job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or they, I mean, but it's not. It's only getting banned here. They would still have TikTok in all the other countries too. So they might still be able to like just. They would probably still have to lay off a couple teams. Yeah, they're gonna have to do a couple of them. Yeah, American teams. Good. It's not gonna happen. I feel like we've been talking about this for like a couple of years now. I don't know. Well, I mean, a bill it. takes a minute to pass, right? Yeah, the bill passed uh, the House, House of Representatives route. overwhelmingly on Wednesday, and it would not move to now move to the Senate. The Biden administration supports it. President Biden said last week he'll sign it if it makes it to his desk. And the Justice Department briefed lawmakers this week about how China, through the Chinese company, uh, Baidan, what is that? Byte Dance, which owns TikTok, may be using the app to influence U.S. elections. Whoa. Wow. Is- okay. Um, really? We'll do anything to, sorry, to not get the, the actual things done. Yeah, I'm saying that the way that Americans are influencing, redlining, and all this other stuff, but they want to talk about another country influencing. Yeah, That's of hilarious. course. I would think Dodge would influence <laughs> the votes more than anything. It's always a Dodge vehicle that's running over some protesters, either a Ram or a Challenger. <laughs> I think Dodge is more responsible than TikTok, to be honest. Wow. But uh, yeah. Uh, they're saying that Rolling Stone that foreign powers can use the app to influence American views and beliefs. Huh. Not the shit I'd be watching. Right. Right. <laughs> I feel like we get <laughs> more just news. Dancing. <laughs> we get more news from TikTok and and Twitter. Albeit, um, you know, news from people who are self professed reporters and shit like that like but uh, like a lot of the stuff that is being reported from Gaza mm-hmm. and everything over there on down to some of the protests and things like that you, a lot of times we wouldn't have knowledge of it if it wasn't for some of these social media sites like if like anytime there's an earthquake i immediately immediately go to twitter I never go to a news site. I go to Twitter and they be like, oh, did y'all feel the earthquake? So I just confirmed that. One time LAX was locked down like two and a half years ago. Oh, and I yeah. went to Twitter and it was like, hey, I'm stuck on a tarmac. They say something's up at LAX. Another one was like, hey, I'm checking in. And they just shut the airport down. So these social media sites are way faster than typically news exactly. out, out, outlets are right. because they Real have time. an immediate release and outlet to the public. Whereas a news outlet has to go to the scene or call in, yep. all of that type of stuff. So editor-in-chief got to approve everything. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's way more. So I definitely see the benefit of uh, social media, but I mean, every like everything, it is it, there's a duality to it. So a ban seems extreme, though. It seems like that could be like an in-app fix. You know how Twitter started doing the the checks underneath, mm-hmm. and it'll be like, this is actually false. an ad, or this right. is false information. Yeah. I just don't think this is gonna happen. I feel like there's I'll... there's too many big businesses with mm-hmm. their hands in the pot. I I I. I I did 25 TikTok brand deals last year. Wow. There's t- so you're telling me this would cancel, like, I, just to name a few, like, Baby Dove, Target, Starbucks. Like, you're telling me you're going to shut it down for all of them, too? Because mm. they they support your campaigns, too. Yeah, they be, so they I just don't see it happening. Over. If it does happen, uh, my OnlyFans will be dropping later Hey-o! this year. Uh, you know, it's, <laughs> I got, we got to do what we got to do. We got to hey, protect, protect the kids. We got to protect the kids. We got to protect the kids. Eat. Eh? The kids got kids to eat off the love. The kids got to eat. Yeah. Okay. I'm supporting. Get them toes on there. <laughs> Does this studio have a, 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 What's up, a set that that can be used for only like that? Yeah. If so, like that. Yeah, yeah, we got to get a bed in here. Because <laughs> all I will, foot massages, yeah. like yeah. yeah, oh, do it slow, do it yeah. on that big vein, yeah, do it on the big vein we'll, behind the big toe. We'll start with some G-rated stuff. I have beautiful toes. <laughs> <laughs> we can start there, but I I love my <laughs> life here, so they need to keep TikTok right. Where is that? Is TikTok your main source of income? Uh yes. So this ban would be devastating. Oh, horrible. Mm. That's crazy. Well, see, it's not the app paying you. It's it's the, the, brand, the brand deals. Mm-hmm. So okay. my I get my best brand deals on TikTok. I get mm. some on Instagram and stuff yeah. too, and I'm sure y'all mm. do as well. Do y'all do a lot of brand deals? No. Really? Yeah. I need to be better about Pat's it. Like I'm missing out on some money. Here. Uh, no, I mean I I see the I see the options and like mm. I'm approved mm. to do them, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes sometimes I just be like, nah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've. I've said no to some, but mm-hmm. de- like some are just like I mean this is, uh, this would be foolish if you if you said no to like 
certain ones because mm-hmm. it's like, oh, this mm-hmm. is a good company. Easy. This is a good company. They like what I brought to the table, so mm-hmm. this would be a, a good collab that makes sense. Like, I, mm-hmm. I do a brand deal when it makes sense. Yeah. yeah but I definitely, like, would be lying if I didn't say brand deals were my biggest source of income. Mm-hmm. I got I denied of immediately when I applied for the creator program. Oh, like, really? I submitted the application and, and when I hit submit, I got an email immediately like, no, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and so I hit my homegirl up. I'm like, yeah. yo, why is this happening? She was like, more than likely, like, nine times out of ten, it's because a lot of videos you make are like the reaction videos and you have the other video in there and that's not your content. So Ew. if that's most of your, your content, they won't allow you in there because they want you to use your content. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's I was a like, lot right. of AI though. It's, yeah. It might not even be a you thing. Like that's I, the, yeah, I, just, I the, know. The, if, if, I, if I can be honest, the fund isn't what gets you the majority of the money. Mm-hmm. It's, it's brands saying like, oh, you have a big following. We yeah. would like to... We would like to pay Amber to make a oh, TikTok okay. for X amount. Mm. That's why I stopped trying to grow my TikTok. Because I was like, well, if I ain't make no money off of it, I don't, I don't really care. Then. Gotcha. Yeah, no, it's uh, not the app paying you. Okay. That gets it. It's just the reach. Gotcha. Okay. I, I, might, I might circle back, circle the block. I mean, we'll yeah, see. Yeah. We'll see. If I mean, if it's here. I hope it's here. Because I, I know a lot of people that are like, I mean, Keith Lee. Of course. You, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Jordan the Stallion. Uh, it's, it's a game. Oh, people. huge! Man, all Jordan stuff Stallion, with Method Man, Method Man oh, is amazing. So awesome. Yeah, yeah. So awesome. People are doing good stuff over like. there. Huh? I, I never oh, yeah. even noticed they looked alike till I yeah. saw them standing next to each other. I was like, Why does Jordan look older? <laughs> <laughs> than he normally does because he's twenty six, but Jordan looks <laughs> Just, a good forty. Yeah. He be having them glasses on. He be like. <laughs> he's so funny. I, I met him recently at something. It's just, yeah. just this amazing in person. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. seems like it. He seems like just a super cool person. Good mm-hmm. vibes. I feel like something something has to happen, or maybe or or maybe what we'll start seeing is a ton of creators going being like, everybody follow me on my other channels because mm-hmm. like the comedy or whatever we're doing still exists. It's mm-hmm. just like pushing that huge audience over to another platform. It's just yeah. hard. I mean, they, I, we, we had hopes for Spiel and that, especially at oh, the like Elon. Oh, like Threads or something? Or threads. What was happening? Yeah, yeah, Threads and Spiel are basically similar to Twitter. Gotcha. Um, and I think one of them you just, was it Spiel that you can put the pictures on now or something like that? Well, I, Threads too, but I don't know. None of them really took like Twitter did, though. Yeah. And everybody I was, was like, a big I'm Twitter person. Tweet. Really? I love I it. It didn't happen yeah. at all. Twitter's a dick, the, the dark web. I yeah, love yeah, the yeah. darkness that be over there. I, I screenshot so much shit there to send about yeah. my dark group checks. I, I got to sleep at night. I can't be on Twitter. <laughs> it's too much. It's so crazy. because sister's soon as, on it. Soon as, like, on my regular page, soon as, like, 10 o'clock hits, filth. Filth. Like, it's, just it's filth. Continuous filth. Filth. Now my burner page is all filth. I, and that's what that page is made for. But my regular page, <laughs> man, <laughs> clockwork. Ten o'clock titties. It be, <laughs> it be people you don't yes, even follow, just repost that. it too. Mm-hmm. Like I don't even see how it ends up on my TL sometimes. <laughs> people tell me they're like, I just watch porn on Twitter. I'm like, man, listen. Once well, Tumblr, which is fail, cool, but I'm like, why don't why like what's wrong with the regular porn sites? It's, what, it's what's quicker. The diff- it's it's quicker. quicker. Yeah, it's just like boom, cause cause. Oh, what was that? Come back there. This one will work quicker. Yeah. This one will work. Yeah, because it's, it's using like... a Pornhub, you gotta, you gotta, or, or any site, you gotta go there. Yeah, we're all talking you about Pornhub. You gotta type in what you want, <laughs> right? And then you gotta click on the video once you find what you want. And then there's always an ad first, right? And you, uh, you can click the ad after like five or seven seconds, and then you go boom, sh- boom, <laughs> boom right? Oh, the only thing that was Twitter, different is that I would ad. love to know your favorite yeah. porn category after that intro. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know that intro. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Twitter, you just scroll like video, 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 video. Oh, what's this one? Boom. But it's not oh, organized. That is yeah, right. I love it. I love the oh, randomness like the of it. Oh, you like the I love, I love the random. And then also like you have the for you and you have your following. So you follow the people that you like the content of. I like so that. So if you just go to your following, it's going to bring up all the shit you already are a fan of anyway. So yeah. that's how I organize mine. Like, boom. That's what I do. Because <laughs> Twitter doesn't have like that, that that's the, the Achilles heel of TikTok. It's mm. like this isn't age appropriate. Right. All of that. It's they, right. they, they try to uh, act like no, this is an eighteen plus app, but it's Twitter you will get flagged wild, wild for the West. slightest thing. Yes, yeah, so, oh, yeah. but Twitter is called X. Yeah. Twitter's like uncut. Yeah, it you should you be called X rated. Nah. From from what <laughs> I hear, after dark. <laughs> that's wild. It's great. I like how we, we all threatened to go to Threads. We didn't. Yeah. And, but the only compromise was like, we're still calling it Twitter, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to call it X, but I'm going to stay. We are not calling it X. It's still going to be Twitter. That was just a power move on his plate. Like he, that was him like trying to rebrand it and make it his own, but it's still Twitter, yeah, bro. Yeah, he called y'all's bluff. Yeah, and a it's lot of people never going to not be Twitter, bro. 
So, well, at least it's not. Are people doing subscriptions still, or did that? Not? Some people are. Okay. Yeah, my homeboy just tweeted that he was gonna go ahead and break down and do it, so he could go ahead and edit his edit his tweets. And I was like, nigga, if That's I mess it? up on a tweet, I mess up on a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> delete it. I deleted and reposted real fast. It's I'm a wild about subscription that. Yeah, plus. I'm not doing that. Yeah, because that was like the you got to pay the subscription to keep the blue checks and stuff. Like, yeah, the that blue checks. Yeah, they took the blue check. I don't give a fuck about that blue check. I'm not making no money off of Twitter no way. Man. Damn. Fuck you, Elon. Boy, <laughs> Eli, I love his name being Eli. I want him to get into a celebrity <laughs> fight. I want to see somebody sock his yes. ass up. I'm not gonna hold you. I would love him to fight Jake Paul. Yeah, I, I think mean, Jake Paul will crack his yeah. dog ass. He will. He That'd will. That'd be the only but, time that people root for Jake. Right, easy, right, easy. Because he's gonna get his ass beat. Oh, he gonna, fight Mike he's Tyson. gonna show up in an Absolutely. Iron Man suit though. Yeah, he don't got too think, much money. Do we think? Because I I have been recently. What, like I watched the Jake Paul mm-hmm. documentary and I was like, mm-hmm. okay, he's holding his own. Yeah, you know, he is. No, he he's, is. he's a scumbag, but he's a he's a marketing expert. Oh, and yeah. He's holding his own. Do we? Th- obviously, he's gonna lose. I, I'm Mike Tyson. I'm not an idiot. Of course, yeah. obviously, he's gonna lose the fight with Mike Tyson. Unless will he be hospitalized? Is the question that I don't. Here's I'm not the thing. sure of. Don't we from don't the work know that I've been seeing him put in. How much money this is going to be worth? If this ends up being like 150 mil, 200 mil. And they're giving Mike a bag of like a hundred mil for this fight, which he shouldn't be doing for less than that. I would, I would take that dive for a hundred mil. Your whole legacy. This don't count against my legacy. Mm. Yeah. This is an exhibition fight. This doesn't go on anybody's record. This might be hot for a year or two, but that ain't gonna. That will never outshadow the shit that Mike did in that wing, that ring. Right. It's never gonna right. outshadow the bite. He bit off a man's ear. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. If you can come back from that. Listen, he that's got a true. podcast. He still ironed Mike Tyson. I wouldn't fight him. At 50, I wouldn't fight at, Mike at, Tyson. At, Floyd already did not. it. Huh? So Floyd already did it yeah. with, jo- with uh, what's his name? Logan Paul. Mm-hmm. And he won. So I don't see why it would go any different. Like Mike is yeah. like, okay, I'll fight him for this amount no, of Jake, money and still win. Jake Paul's not going to win. I'm just saying, is he going to be Hospital hospitalized? Up. I don't know. Like, I kind of hope so. <laughs> He already won because he mm. got in a ring. Wait, a which ring one is the older Tyson. one? Logan? Older one is Logan. He's in. Jake he's the fully a wrestler now. He's in. He re- won WrestleMania. He's like, and that makes sense because mm. it's like, okay, this is this is scripted. Yeah. You are insanely popular, and he's actually really, really good. So mm. it's like, I feel like he's getting way less hate for that. Mm. Jake Paul is still getting the hate of like. Everybody says the same things. He's not fighting real fighters. He's fighting old people. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. it's they gonna find a reason. Yeah, yeah, they don't like him. Yeah, right? and he's making money off of that. Damn. But uh, Mike Tyson still Mike Tyson. I don't give yeah, a fuck yeah. what oh. you say. He still hits <laughs> insanely hard. He's in great say. shape. I, I feel like I saw a video of him recently sparring in the sparring. ring, and the dude like... had on the, the thing, and he still was like, Ugh. "All right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. Let's let's reset." <laughs> if y'all if y'all blew up as a YouTuber, you mm. know, like that's that's the the label that Jake Paul still has. Would you guys take this route? Because you said he's a marketing expert. He's only fought interesting people, mm-hmm. regardless of their bo- boxing records. Because he had a good point. A lot of the real boxers don't sell a lot of pay per view. Mm-hmm. But they if don't. you have the the if you have the option to do Mike Tyson, fight Mike Tyson, you know this nigga who used to be on the Knicks, mm-hmm. like <laughs> just like random people that would sell more. Would you guys rather take that and the hate? Um, Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like the people that really know him have a better understanding of who he is, and they mm-hmm. might understand that what he's doing is just a facade. He might be doing exactly what he wants to do. I would tune in just because I want to see him look right. Whereas yeah, that's why if he I was fighting somebody that I give a fuck about, I don't give a fuck. I ain't giving this boy my money. Mm-hmm. But now I'm willing to give someone who's created this persona that makes me dislike him. But because I dislike him, now I want to see him fail. And because I want to see him fail, I want to tune in. Mm-hmm. So he's still getting my money. So whether you like him or hate him, you want to give him your money. Yeah, right. He's a fucking genius. Right. Yeah. He's a he's fucking a genius. genius. He's a genius. Yeah, he's doing exactly what I would do. If I had the the patience and the team to do something like that, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it... It, it it wore on his mental, like, like it, cause it, it it will wear on your yeah, mental. Yeah, absolutely. At some have point, that many people hate you. Yes, but I de- I definitely like can zoom out and see like what what else would a, a fuck boy white kid with eighteen million dollars at age eighteen do? Like some stupid shit. Like yeah. there there's no world where he could have. Just been an upstanding citizen. <laughs> like, not after like, it's every day, bro. You can't buy a seven million dollar house in LA at age eighteen and, and not have some and type not be of a fool, a clown. Yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah, so I get it. So I I don't see him as having done anything like crazy unforgivable. Yeah, if I'm being honest, it's fun right. to watch because it's like yeah. 
He's, he's a train wreck. He's going through what I call like the black people cycle of respect. You know how long it takes for like black people to respect you? Because you have to like yes. go out there and they'll be like, nah, that's not gonna happen. Mm. And then it happens, they're like, it's not gonna happen again though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> they, did that, they did that shit with Ice Spice. They're like, ah, that's just one. Ah, right. Uh, and that, then that's just a flu. Around that's like just five, six, seven times, and it's like, He's kind of good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with y'all. You, yeah. have to, so you just have to survive that period of time where they're just like, no. Like, yeah. People do that when you're, they're watching people dance. They're just like, oh, he's going to suck. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, oh, he's he's such right. an industry plan. But like, <laughs> like, you're like, I mean, I've been making videos since 2006. Like, it is 2024. Like, what, what's it going to take? That's, mm-hmm. that's discipline. Yeah, yeah. Nah, for real. He, he definitely, mm-hmm. you can't say he don't work hard. Because a lot of people in that position wouldn't take boxing that serious. Because he's yeah. even though he's he's fighting non boxers, he's still boxing his ass off. Yeah, yeah which is, is kind of was pretty impressive. Like he could have half assed hard, it. bro. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. That 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 time in the ring, that full round in the ring of moving and keeping your guard up, and then and then punching and, and dipping back, like just practicing it. Like when my trainer. And he'd be like, you gotta jump rope for a minute. I'd be like, well, who's minute? An American minute? <laughs> an, American. an American minute. <laughs> like the jumping rope for 60 seconds it's is hard. hard. And then it's moving around hard. and doing all of this stuff and learning the combination and moving back. Because my, my training, he wasn't he wasn't like no soft tap. Like he did me in my face. Right. Oh, if I wow. put my guard back up. So I'm like, man, this I don't this shit ain't fun. Not at all. Yeah. Good weight loss too, but it ain't fun, baby. It ain't for everybody. <laughs> so I'm looking at um just different ways they're doing the fight. So Mike Tyson hasn't been in the ring since he had an exhibition with Roy Jones Jr. in 2020. Mm. And so some people are saying this fight, which is going to be streamed live on Netflix, is being billed as a heavyweight boxing mega event. But a lot of people are saying it's an exhibition fight, um, not a fight fight. An exhibition fight, they wear larger gloves to minimize the harm or impact. Mm. Um, It's more not a competition as opposed to demonstrating the skills of the participants. So that's Mm. what a a boxing exhibition would be. Um, So... So people loophole. are like, it's going to be a fight fight. Other people, it's going to be exhibition. Last time he was in a ring four years ago, it was an exhibition fight with Roy Jones. Jr. Yeah, Roy I don't think, Jones I don't, Jr. I thought it couldn't be a real fight unless you're registered with like the boxing, um, it's not arena, what is it called? Who is it? Commission. Commission. Yeah, who, which the one governing body. Like, he's not a, yeah. Mike is retired. Oh, right. so he can only do exhibitions. That's what I thought. That's what I, I was yeah, I, mean, I don't know. About. I'm just, yeah. So th- that's Respectfully, just, just us normies don't care. Like, yeah. I, I've, some of the best fights I've seen was on the school bus. Like, <laughs> it, 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 didn't, it didn't matter if it was, it counted towards somebody's record. It's like, if we want well, to see a good fight. Those definitely count towards your record. The school bus fights? <laughs> a school bus fight. The bus driver got a park, and he's like, just finish over there. We all okay. go off. Like, That's crazy. Those are some good fights. You so, Mike Tyson retired in 2005, only to return in 2020 for an exhibition bout against Roy Jones Jr. Um, but mm-hmm. it doesn't say, like, if he is, like, I don't think he's registered with them, though. Do you think Netflix is going to charge extra money? They would be know. foolish not to. Well, like, I don't know. Is it going to be like a pay-per-view? Or if I have Netflix, can I watch it? Have you yeah. ever seen that on Netflix? Yeah, when, Chris, when Chris Rock did yeah. his live. When he his, did this last special, he did that you, live you on Netflix. You paid it? No. Oh, you just, it just, you just watched it. it on Netflix? Did it yeah. stream live well? Because remember they tried to stream Love is Blind reunion live, and it was yeah, like it a started disaster. Late and all of that shit. No, yeah, this yeah, started, yeah. it started pretty much on time. Wow. Mm. No, I think they would be... Or, or at least they're not gonna have household sharing passwords. They, they're yeah, gonna they come, put they're they, down on that now. Down on that. They are oh cracking gosh. that code. Yeah. They, they gonna figure something out because it's gonna be a very That's heavily crazy. streamed event. I, I can't imagine how much money is going into this. Like this niggas fight Mike Tyson on Netflix. Yeah, mm. that is a crazy bag. I, I said he was fifty. Mike Tyson is actually fifty-seven. Wow. Fifty. Them punches is twenty eight though. <laughs> I need them to. I need them to have the biggest gloves available on that nigga. Jeez. I want them with the old school like soccer bopper. Like mm-hmm. remember those, those big old yeah. soccer bopper. Right. Anything soccer bopper. you know. Mm-hmm. More fun than a pillow fight. Yes. Yeah. If anything, I mean, even that would do damage with Mike Tyson. Oh yeah. Like oh yeah. He'll bust the the, the soccer bopper. It's right in the head. Have you I'm guys excited. been seeing what's been happening with that other boxer, Ryan Garcia? No, I don't. I, I don't keep up with any boxing, and I know about this fight, which is how I know well, that's doing what's a good crazy. Job a lot of people don't keep up with boxing, but he is quote unquote like unraveling. Yeah, he's yeah, messages on yeah, Instagram he, and stuff like that. They said well, he got he kidnapped, saying? and he was saying that he was taking a Bohemian Grove, and he like he's almost like he's like what is that? He was saying that drink prime has cyanide in it, and Ryan was, Ryan said that. Yeah, Ryan Garcia. Yeah. 
he on that stuff you sold him to then here. He said he went online <laughs> making no. bizarre rants, looking for his girlfriend. Like, oh yeah. no, yeah, that's like this. That was is like so this. hours ago. He reveals he's searching for a, oh, he's searching for a girlfriend in an Instagram post. <laughs> Oh, they might so need to cancel they, that. They, they, they say they just pulled out a hopeless romantic. Little... What's the problem? <laughs> 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 He's shooting his shot. Hey, man. They'll call you crazy quick. You know? yeah, 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 they will. Yeah, they They're will. like, ain't no way this man just searching for a woman. He got to be on that stuff. Yeah, and now no, he's going to look saying. out for a new he's girlfriend. He was in, uh, with an Australia OnlyFans model last month. Trouble. The troubled boxer who filed for divorce from his wife. Uh, in January after he she had given birth. Yeah, that was the, cause oh. that was another big thing. Like, he was all on um, Instagram, like, oh, thank you about my beautiful wife. I had my beautiful son. I'm so thankful for you. Then he was like, by the way, could you sign that for me? Damn. <laughs> like, right oh, after she had I the baby. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, I didn't, right I didn't know the why baby. they were important, but now I'm, I'm putting yeah. it together. Yeah, but he's just been having a lot of weird posts. One was that he was kidnapped, and then he got hacked. And What does it say? He raised concern on March 3rd with a disturbing video claiming he was dead after having his throat slit. Uh, he came back to life to, to tweet that, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's like, rip, rip the IV out my arm. I got to get to Twitter <laughs> and tell him what happened. Rip me out the bag. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. Uh, he said he was uh, essayed. He was assaulted um, by a family member at the age of two. He also has evidence of aliens, Ugh. and he was uh, held down and witnessed children being essayed uh, in the wood, in the woods by the elites. He had a whole rant with who's the bald dude that everyone hates, Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate. Yeah, um... he had the whole elites thing uh, conversation oh, with him. He, <laughs> he had a whole bunch of conferences <laughs> that he was like inebriated at on cocaine. Jeez. Uh, it's just it's it's, it's been a lot. a lot with him. He's he dropped a, a song, a cover to Radiohead yesterday. It's been kind of it's been oh, kind of crazy wow. because he went on the rants about the elites, and right after that, he completely switched up. Mm. Mm. So everybody has yeah. these conspiracies that they got to him. What did you highlight? One How old is he? He claimed an earthquake is set to destroy Hollywood in Las Vegas. That's probably mm. true. At some point, and Elon yeah, Musk yeah. is the Eventually. Antichrist. Yeah. Okay, I'm like. All right. right. Well, you, you know, know what? I've been you following. Know, he's making some points. <laughs> I gotta go outside and get some sun. I feel like I need yeah. to go test some grass after all that nigga shit <laughs> right there. The internet really is crazy. Damn. It can be. It yeah. can be a downer. Literally. Man, you know his wife been listening to this shit for years. Too. Yeah. 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 Like she. Yeah, she's Where's fixing dinner, mm -hmm. and he's like, "You know the aliens? I got pictures." <laughs> okay, baby. <laughs> Do you Damn. want? How would you like your, how would your you steak like to go cut? About this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so as we wrap up real quick, Amber, would you like to tell people where they can find you, find the podcast, everything, your next live show after you get back from your amazing vacation to Italy? Italy, Italia. Mm -hmm. Uh, so my name is. I always do this. Like mm -hmm. I haven't been like they didn't know my name the whole show. Okay. Um, my name is Amber. You can find me on all socials at b u r r underscore i a m. So it's Burr I am. Um, hopefully you'll still see me on TikTok before the end of the year. <laughs> uh, before you transfer over to my OnlyFans, uh, you can listen to Fly on the Wallen podcast. You know, the husband that I bully that we mm -hmm. all love. Mm -hmm. uh, we mm -hmm. host that show together where we talk about just like content creating and parenting and marriage and sex and all kind of fun stuff. So listen to Fly on the Wild and Podcast and follow Burr I Am. Hey. Shout out to the Burrow. That's Burr. the man base. Gang, gang. Burr. So, the Burrow. Well, shout out to the More Mob, the Scary Squad, and the Burrows. Is that the what? Burrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burrow. Like, like uh, rabbit holes and yeah, shit. Yeah, the Burrow. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in and then those that are watching it on Thursday thank you so much for still tuning in and watching or listening if you do the listening only on the podcast uh, platform of your choice as always I'm to hear more I'm Patrick Cloud and we'll see you next week on another episode of Damn Internet You Scary Hey, Peace guys Yay Thanks for having me <laughs>